Hey there! Now that you have the important foundational aspects of your learning community understood, let's get started creating it in Thinkific. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up your Thinkific community, and I'll be doing this on my website, but yours might look a little different. The steps should be roughly the same though. Now, your community can be its own standalone space or associated with a course product on Thinkific. The key thing to remember is that all members will need to have an account on your Thinkific website to access the community. Okay, let's get started. First off, log into your Thinkific website and head over to your learning content section of the menu. You'll find communities there. Next, click to create a new community for your Thinkific website. You'll first need to name the community, then add a short description for it. Next, we'll set up access rules for this community. You have four options here. Only me ensures that only you can see it. This is a useful setting if you'd like to keep this community totally hidden before it's ready to go. Students in groups means that you can only give community access to a closed group of people. In Thinkific, you can create specific groups of students, and often we see people who sell their courses to a company or an organization use this to keep their communities private. Enrolled students are what most creators use. This gives access to the community when a student is enrolled in one of your courses. This access expires when the enrollment period expires for students, if you set up an enrollment expiry when you set up your course. Logged in students allows access to the community to anyone with an account on your Thinkific website. This essentially means that access to your community is free to any logged in student. Once you've chosen your access rules, you can move on to set a color and font for this community. The color will be used throughout the community as an accent color and for things like buttons to post and reply. Finally, you can add a community home banner image. Then you can save the changes and your community is created. You can now enter the community by clicking the button at the top of the page. You can also enter the community by copying the sharing link and pasting it directly into your browser. Once you're into your new community, you can see that there are a few spaces set up for you already. Go to the general space and you can start adding posts before your students arrive. It's here that we recommend adding your community guidelines post. Click to post and then add your post title and body. Once you're done, post it and click the menu icon on the post to pin it to the top of the space. This will ensure that all new members see the guidelines before posting. If you need some inspiration for your guidelines post, we have some handy swipe copy that you can use below this lesson.